Hello everyone and welcome to Lavelia's Coloring. How are you all doing? I hope that you all had a wonderful start to the new year. I am going to be sharing with you my completed colorings and also some crafts that I've been working on in December. And with the colorings, I, I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. I started off great at the beginning of the month, but sometime in the middle of the month, um, my daughter asked me if I could teach her how to crochet and I'm always up for spending time with my kids especially when it's crafts that we can do together and because um, my daughter is going to be going off to college in the fall I just want to spend as much quality time with her especially um, when I couldn't get her to color with me that much so what we worked on is in making this slouchy beanie and it's one that I've done like several times before. I've made one for like my family and stuff. And so she did a gray version. I did this blue version. And this is one of the projects that I started I started with when I first crocheted and I thought it'd be great for her. And especially when you get to the puff stitch part, it's a lot of fun doing this kind of stitch. And yeah, I found this on Ravelry and it's free. So if you guys are interested in trying this project out, I'll leave the link down below in the video description. So I have some other crafts that I want to share, so I'll be right back. So for Christmas, my sister gifted me this Harry Potter crochet and it comes with a book. Let me go see if I can open it up. comes with a book with all these different projects. You have Harry Potter, Ron, Hermione, Dobie, um, Hedgewick is in here. And so uh, I was only able to make one because I ran out of black and gray, but I do have those yarns so I can probably continue and make some more. If you do decide to get this, um, this doesn't really work, although it's cute. It's a crochet wand. Um, I tried using it, but the um, it doesn't really catch the yarn well, so I just used my own. And yeah, I was only able to make one, and I made Harry. I'm not good at making the... <laughs> the glasses but uh, as a first time um, making um, these I forgot what it's called there's a Japanese name for it I'll put it up here uh, because I, it, I can't even remember it starts with an A that's all I remember but yeah so I made the scarf I made the robe the robe can come off I feel like I've made his arms a little too long compared to his legs but yeah, it's okay. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good try for my first time. So yeah, so this is my Harry that I made from the Harry Potter crochet. So that was, this is one of the projects that I worked on in December. And I'm just so happy that I was able to finish Harry. I'm going to try to work on Hedgewick um, this month, see if I can get um, him done so they can be together so yeah so this is my Harry Potter from the Harry Potter crochet so what you see in front of you is the friends set of Central Perk my husband actually gave me this for my birthday um, last year oops and I didn't get to work on it I'm just taking out the parts that will fall off and so let me see if I can share it with you this way something else fell so that yeah my son Mason and I worked on this one he helped me put this together we did it in one afternoon and evening so um, yeah very easy to put together especially when there's two of us so yeah so this is one of the projects that I was able to finish in December it was a lot of fun the apartments are is out right now on Amazon and on um, where is that Barnes and Nobles but I don't know if I'll get that maybe on my birthday if it's still available so this is the friends central perk set 
Okay, my heater turned on, so hopefully it's not going to be too distracting. Um, I do have one more craft to share with you before I share my colorings, and it's a diamond painting. But I'm not going to bring it out because it's too big. Um, I'll share a picture of how it looks like right now. It's not done yet. I hope to finish it this month, maybe next month. We'll see. Um, but it is from Craftably, and it's a lot of fun to work on. I just wish I had more time. And yeah, I really love the Santa, how he's looking. He's supposed to be looking at his list with his bag of toys. And yeah, so hopefully I can get that one done this month. We'll see. And we'll go ahead and start with my completed colorings. Okay, so my completed coloring. So I'm going to start off with the PDF that I have here. And let me go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, so this is an illustration by Aurora Wings. It has it right here, aurorawings.com, sorry. And the name of this illustration is called Trumpet Angel Sprite. And this illustration is from her Holiday Sprites Volume 3. I do have one through three and I purchased it through her Etsy store. And um, at the beginning of the month, I was going to like randomly pick them and then color it, but I only was able to color in two. So this is one of them and I colored it with the Copic Chow and this is printed on Copic paper. You can see, I like how it looks in the back. <laughs> and then I do have a little bit of Sakura white jelly roll. And then on the sleeves and on the bottom of the robe, there is the stickles. Love how it sparkles. And then on the bottom part of the robe, I put some Zig Wink of Stella. Just a subtle shimmer. And yeah, so this is one of two that I've done from Aurora Wings. The second one here, this one is called Garland Sprite. And yeah, she is so cute. I just love how sparkly she is. Again, that's all stickles. And then the stars um, are gold Posca. So, so pretty. It was a lot of fun adding all the stickles. So uh, again, I colored her in with Copic Chow. And... Yeah, I started off with her her outfit and her skin, and then when I got to the hair, I didn't want to do another blonde, so I was asking my daughters, like, what should I color her hair? And then they were like, blue, so I'm like, what kind of blue? <laughs> so uh, we came up with this color. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. They're nice and quick coloring. I actually did this um, New Year's Eve. And the other one was done like in the beginning of the month. So I have like bookends, my bookends to my coloring. But yeah, so, so cute. So again, uh, the two illustrations are from Aurora Wings and you can get her illustrations from Etsy. Uh, this one is from volume one. Or is it volume one? Yeah, volume one. Okay. Okay, so uh, really quickly, I want to apologize if you hear running around, screaming, dogs barking. Um, they're all downstairs where I used to record and just that's where I colored. That's the main area, the living room, dining room, the kitchen. And yeah, it's just too noisy. And I used to try to stay up as long as I can at night just to record. But it started, you know, like making me feel so blah throughout the day that I'd end up like not feeling well enough to even record. So I moved a desk, bookcase, my lights and my arm so that I can record up here in our bedroom and hopefully it'll be a lot better and I can get a lot more videos done. So I just want to let you know that you may hear dogs barking, kids screaming. <laughs> in the background hopefully not so bad so the next coloring i have for you is from deborah Mueller. this is called cute little elves this is a booklet that i got it's one of the two booklets that came in her christmas box um 
where it has several cards and PDFs that um, came in that box and uh, she had a Halloween one but I kind of missed out on that I was lucky enough to get the Christmas one I don't know if she's going to have a Valentine's Day one maybe hopefully it's, uh, her illustrations are just so cute so I did do one coloring in here which is the title page of this booklet called cute little elves I colored it in with Copic Chow and lots more stickles you can see it glittery it's just so pretty yeah i really like the green and blue combo so yeah so this is my cute little elf from deborah mueller my next coloring is in a million christmas cats by john bigwood and i did a double page spread here which is my first coloring in this book so it's for um, my color along which is december color your horde 2021 also for my other color along which is christmas cheer 2021 and i actually did this for another color along it's for several but um another main one is for passionista colorista she had a cat's color along and then also i think this advent page color along so uh she also had uh, days 13 through 24 that her and someone else uh, put together with permission from the editors and the um, illustrator and she does have it available on her website so if you don't have this book or if you don't have days 13 through 24 and you'd like to download it I'll leave the link to her website down below in the video description for you guys so yeah so this is my 12 days of Christmas with the cats and i based parts of it with tombow dual brush markers and i colored it with black widow colored pencils there are a little bit of details with white posca and sakura stardust it's hard to tell where i put the um what is that the glitter pens I also used gold Posca for the numbers. The black portion that I used to frame each of the cats is black Posca. The background is Munoz soft pastel. And then to do the bouquet kind of effects, I used the Stabilo Carbathel pastel pencils. And then I also use some white Posca to make some snow in each of the backgrounds. So yeah, it was a lot of fun coloring this in. I was keeping up with it until it just got too busy. But they're super cute and I'm so happy I finally colored in this book because I've had this book for a while. And so hopefully I can color more in here won't just be sitting with no pages colored so this is my double page spread from a million christmas cats by john bigwood my next several colorings are color by numbers and i usually work in color by number books while like there's a portion of my son's um, studies where he's on the computer and he's supposed to work by himself so I'm just there with him just to um, keep an eye on him and whenever he needs or he has any questions I'm there so while he's doing that I'm working on some color by number books so um, all of them were colored with either towel tree markers or the spree markers so the first one i'm going to share with you is color by number christmas mosaic with the black background this is by sun life drawing and i can't remember if i shared it i think i did uh, i did two last year and then this one is one of them that i did this year with the rabbits very cute and then I did this one with the sand snowman. And yeah, so those are the two that I worked on 
from Color by Number Christmas Mosaic by Sun Life Drawing with the black background. Next, I have Christmas Color by Number Black Background by Color Questopia. And the page I did in here is this one. And as I was looking at it, I realized that that was the extra. I actually didn't do one from the book. So, um, but this is my completed page from it. And again, with either Tau Tree or Spree, the background is actually supposed to be one type of blue, but I broke it up so that I'm not using too much of the blues. And I also use Sakura Stardust for the ornaments and the bubbles. I don't know if you can see the bubbles, but yeah, they're supposed to be sparkly. <laughs> so, oh, I think I used some pencils. I'm not sure which one, but yeah, pencils were used. So this is my mermaid from Christmas, color by number, black background by color Questopia. My next coloring is from Mystery Colors, the Christmas edition. I only did one in this one. And the page I did is this with the cookies and milk for Santa. And it looks like I did not finish it. <laughs> there is a brown color that's supposed to be over here. But I can quickly put that in and then it'll be done. And yeah, uh, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but all of the color by numbers I did not get to post it on Instagram so but it's okay so this is a first page that I colored in this magazine so this one is the Christmas mystery colors and the last of my color by numbers is stained glass Christmas and this one is by Sun Life Drawing and is this the first one no, this, I already colored one before. So here is the page that I worked on with, I don't know, angel fairies with a broken ornament. And yeah, I think that's the only one I did. So that's the last of my colored by numbers. And this one is by Sun Life Drawing Stained Glass Christmas. Okay, so the rest of the colorings that I'm going to share with you are all buddy colors. And I'm going to start off with Mythographic Frozen Fantasies. And this is illustrated by Fabiana Atanasio. I did a coloring in here with my good friend Amanda Downey, whose Instagram name is Downey Amanda. And she is also um, the host of our color along, which was hashtag Christmas Cheer 2021. So I'll go ahead and put up her very beautiful coloring on this side. She had like a Germanic um, theme with her page and I love it so much and yeah I think my page I used a lot of the same colors um, that I used in our other buddy color which is funny I, I just realized it so thank you so much Amanda for doing this buddy color with me and so yeah this is my reindeer I actually did not use any markers on this well, actually use, I used the Tombow dual brush markers, but for the leaves on that part, everything else was the Derwent ink tents. And then with Faber-Castell polychromos on top, I did use some Prismacolor for the snow and then white Posca and ivory Posca for the fur. And for the snow, I used the white Posca. The background I did do it with the Derwent ink tents but then um, I wanted to darken it from the bottom and kind of like make it lighter as it go up but when I started off with the polychromos I started right over here and then when I got to this part it's already like an hour later and I was like what am I doing <laughs> it's like taking forever so I just took out my Derwent ink tents again and started making it a little bit darker I think I use the iron blue just like a little bit and it's kind of like faded up there and then uh, for again the bouquet kind of look or snowy look I use the 
Stabilo Carbatello pastel pencils and I used a little bit of Sakura Stardust on the windows and sorry my son's in the background yelling <laughs> but yeah this is my reindeer with a little village on top and yeah very very happy with how this um, looks I'm just like when I colored the antlers the color was so close to the bells so I tried to make this a little bit more brown and hopefully it, it stands out and it's like not matching with the bells so yeah so this is my first page in the mythographic frozen fantasies by Fabiana Atanasio my next coloring is from hello autumn by Damita Victoria and this book is from the very lovely uh, T from T's World of Adult Coloring and we also did a buddy color in here and I'll go ahead and put up T's gorgeous coloring on this side we kind of had the same idea of the colors and but I really love how she did her background so thank you so much T for doing this buddy color and also thank you so much for this beautiful book and yeah so with this page i based it with ohuhu markers and there's a little bit of lemache markers i think for the background i ended up using up that color and for pencils on top i used the Cezanne. it's called Cezanne 2 it's kind of like an off brown but um i don't even think they sell that one anymore but they are hard pencils and they're great to use on amazon paper so um was very happy to use it and i also used some white sakura jelly roll for the white accents there's some glitter gel pens in here and then gold and silver posca for the sticks in the back so yeah very happy with this page it's an autumn page so yeah, thank you so much t for the book and also for the wonderful buddy color so this one is hello autumn by Damita Victoria. My next one is Silent Night Christmas Coloring Book by Mardell Rubio. I had a buddy color with Kelly, who's known as Color Journey with Kelly on Instagram. So this is our second page. We had um, another page in here that we did as a buddy color uh, in 2020 so is, maybe this is going to be like a yearly thing we'll have a buddy color from this book we'll see <laughs> so this is the page that we chose and I'll go ahead and post up his beautiful coloring on this side he had a woodland theme and I just love how he kind of blended um, the fairies into his picture so you don't see them anymore and yeah thank you so much Kelly for doing this buddy color with me can't wait to see what our next page will be from this book so on mine I actually you can see the fairies on mine they have the purple lavender wings and I colored it that way because I did color them like that in our first picture so this is the first first picture that we did together and so I colored them to look like they came from the orchids and so I want to go ahead and continue it throughout this book and I colored their wings with the Copic Chow markers and then everything else was based with Ohuhu brush markers I colored on top of it with Durant Pro Color, Colleen colored pencils and also Prisma colored pencils for the snow I did use a lot of Posca for the snow. I had like a gold and bronze theme. And then um, I based this portion um, from like the Japanese Christmas cakes. So I wanted the village up here to be like chocolate, chocolate houses. And then so it was coming out like it was there, something missing. So I added stickle garlands just to add something else to it but yeah so this is uh, my buddy color page with Kelly from Silent Night Christmas Coloring Book by Mardell Rubio 
My next buddy color is with Mommy After Work. It's my first buddy color with her and I keep forgetting to ask her what her name is. So I'll go ahead and put her Instagram name up here as well as her beautiful coloring right on this side. But I'm so happy that she asked me to do a buddy color because I've been wanting to color in this book. So thank you so much. I really love the way her page turned out. And then, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. So on my page, I did base it with Ohuhu brush markers. I colored on top of it with Derwent Pro Color, Black Widows. I also used uh, the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils for the lights to kind of like blend the light out. I used gel pens on top um, to outline the lights. I have some stickles right over there on the tree. I used a fine liner on the scarf and also a gold, um, I think it's a gold Posca pen for the scarf on the snowman. Then white Posca, of course. And yeah, very happy with this page. I'm so happy I finally colored something in here. <laughs> so many beautiful pages in here so thank you for the buddy color mommy after work i gotta get your name so this is chibi christmas by jade summer my last coloring is in the coloring heaven collection this is the christmas traditions by fabiana atanasio and i did a buddy color in here with Sandra who's known as Colorful Diary 2017 and I'll put her beautiful coloring on this side and I want to thank her so much because she wasn't feeling well but she went ahead and finished her buddy color with me and I want to thank her so much I know you know like I just want her to know that I'm thinking of her and sending her lots of positive and healing vibes and just wish her um well and hope that she gets better soon so this is the page that i colored and this one is called visit santa and i based this with ohuhu brush markers i colored on top of it with the faber castell polychromos i also used some crayola colored pencils on her sweater and i did use some washi tape down here I have some uh, Aeon glitter gel pens. I use the gold Posca and also white Posca and silver Posca. The background is just the soft pastels, the Uno soft pastel. And yeah, that's it. So that is the last of my colorings. And yeah, like I said, you know, I wished I was able to do a little bit more, but you know, I was more into spending time with my family, especially when um, my youngest opened all of his toys uh, from Christmas. And so we all had to play his games. And I can't believe I've lost so many times on shoots and ladders. I don't even know how you win. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope you guys had fun, you know, seeing what I've done in the month. And I, I know I haven't been very good at answering, you know, the comments on my videos for the past few months. And I want to apologize. I haven't been really organized with, you know, YouTube since our move. I've mostly been focused on, you know, being organized with my son's schooling because he's being homeschooled and I'm like coordinating with the school or with the district. And, you know, I want to make sure that you know, he's staying on course with what he's supposed to be learning and he's doing really good. And I, I did not realize that he's already going into like first grade um, curriculum. So he's doing first grade math. He's already reading. So now we're into the new year. I'm going to take it a little bit easy. Um, even though he's going at his own pace, I don't want to like overload him. So um, one of my resolutions for this year is to start organizing my months for YouTube. So we'll see how that goes. And because I'm already moved up here in the bedroom, hopefully um, doing videos will be a lot easier for me. 
and very quickly before I let you all go, I want to thank everyone who commented on my November completed colorings video. Thank you so much, you know, for your well wishes for my mom. I really, really appreciate all of your kind words and positive vibes. My mom is doing so much better after her mild stroke. She has a great doctor and the physical therapy she's doing is going wonderfully and it's so great to have my sister down there to help her out help uh, my parents out uh, for a few more weeks so I want to thank you all you know so much for your comments and yeah now I'll really let you guys go thank you for stopping by I'm sending you all big hugs and please take care keep safe and I will see you all in my next video thank you again and happy colorings bye bye